Hello everybody, Rizlash here, back with another video, and today, 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 we are going to be making a house in the Crimson Forest. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, so this looks absolutely amazing, but I'm not here to geek out about the amazing updates in the new snapshot. I am here to make an amazing house right on this cliffside, because I found this really nice place. Look at this. Make one step, you fall to your doom. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place. So I'm going to make a house right here. Remove this stupid mushroom. Uh, I do not know what exactly to do. This is the first time, like, ever me being in the new snapshot. So I got in geeked out I'm like oh my god why oh my god and then i got nice and professional and i'm making the video so now what the frick am i supposed to be doing all right i think the first block will be whatever this block is the crimson stem so uh, right now if i press f3 there's the crimson force right here f3 it should say crimson force i'll highlight it on the screen for y'all this place looks awesome it is super cool now i'm going for more of a like evil type of base because th this just place reminds me of evil you know what i'm saying like there's fire uh i'm gonna add like i was going to add a tree house but then i would rather do save that for the warped forest video which will come out if this video does good uh like a tree top house but these how but these trees are too uh, stubby unlike the warped forest so uh, i'm going to rather make some type of floating house on this cliffside so uh, i'm gonna make a base you know test around and i'll be back Okay, so this is what I got so far. It is uh, really messy, uh, you know, dirty. Not the same thing throughout the whole thing because I want to make it sure, like, uh, like I I found it really hard trying to make a base layer because everything's so red and obviously in a house you want some contrast, you know, like oak or dark oak with birch, you know, light and dark. This is everything's red. I didn't want to put blue too because obviously contrast, but it wouldn't fit. The house would really, like, pop out a lot more than I really would want to. I want this to kind of like blend in, but still be noticeable. So that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Uh, I'm still going to expand this maybe that way a bit more. Maybe make a huge bridge, you know, make a whole civilization, whatever. I, I, I don't know, but this is the first house I'm starting on. And this is uh, some cool thing that I think looks pretty cool. Like, you have a mix of everything. First of all, I was going for, you know, just normal dark oak, but then I realized that doesn't really fit for this type of thing. So, uh, I added, like, a bunch of different stuff. So, I, I, and then I'm gonna add, like, a bit of, like, dark oak here and there, because I think um, uh, it looks like, yeah, some dark oak right there. I think it looks like how, uh, like, there was once a house here in, like, you know, the old updates without the nether, but then when the nether update came, all this forest station started happening and then the person who used to live here moved out because hoglins and uh, piglins and, like attacked them and they had to move out and then it kind of looks like ancient ruiny type of thing that, that's the whole story i'm going for here uh guys i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just trying my best and it is looking super cool so far so i'm gonna work on the walls and the roof and i'll see you when this house looks a bit of a bit of better and they're gonna be expanded i think a bit more and uh yeah as this time lapse goes on, we are getting closer and closer to 500 subscribers. Currently, we are at 153 subscribers. So, if you are not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe so we can reach that 500 subscriber mark. And if you want to see a part 2 where I build, you know, some type of house or anything in, well, the Warped Forest, then make sure to leave a like. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the tab lamps.
Okay, so I have done quite a lot. So let me uh, go through everything. So uh, I actually w decided to add some warp nylium because I couldn't find any other good thing that could actually fit into this place. So now there's just a huge shack above there. It looks super cool. Of course, this is far from done. I need to still add some supports on the bottom right there. Uh, as you can see here, I added some walls, of course. Gonna add some windows right here. Uh, I mean, this is just this is just looking amazing i really love how this looks it just looks super cool and uh, as you can see here there's just so much cool things you can manipulate with the environment to get this really cool look so uh, uh i'm still working on the roof a little bit you know still working on that uh still going to work on some beams and then uh this is looking really cool so instead of a time lapse i'm just gonna jump cut right to the end result in a way three two one and finally, with long hours, I'm just kidding, it didn't take that long, uh, this is how it looks, I just, I am so happy with the result, this looks super cool, uh, so we have amazing stilts, or whatever the frick you want to call it, uh, I think this looks super cool, I'm definitely gonna use this way more, make it a bit better, uh, in other builds, cause this just looks so cool, it looks actually realistic, like, it's coming, it's holding up, it looks really cool, uh, we have the nice layered roof, we have some holes, cause you know, you, you, you've been in the nether, hi, this is ripping your roof apart, but you have strong roofs, don't worry, uh, so you have a, a rim of, a warped stairs, right here, mm -hmm. goes all the way around, a pit, a bit above, and now you have, uh, the inside, the inside's my favorite, uh, Bada big bada boom, you have a, a layer, a huge layer of pictures. Absolutely beautiful. Two orange beds. I, I don't know why they're orange. Uh, then we have a very nice smiley face. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I didn't even know I built that. I built that on accident. Uh, I made out of green because uh, if you've been in, the, in this place, for years upon end up if i were a minecraft character i would miss the overworld let's say i was trapped here only source of food these fatsos how do i like get anything i'm trapped i i ha there's no ores only nether gold and maybe some fortresses to give me some diamonds but I, then again it's really rare to find some obsidian so i have to i i needed to hoard gold needed to trade with piglins to get my way out of here and then that probably took a while i mean like r really like realistically if i were to play that would probably take an hour uh this is absolutely amazing i just love the whole feel of this thing I, i'm just surprised at how the good the the stilts were that's just amazing i don't know what this is oh nether gold ore i don't know what the frick that is but this looks just looks super cool this was a nice fun little short video uh i just wanted to mess around with the nether update with you guys recording the whole process obviously this is not the ideal house i mean i bet everyone can do better so if you did that better make sure to comment below how your house looked what type of house was it a shack was it a villa was it a flying house uh, on, a, on a flying carpet i don't know tell me in the comments and uh yeah this has been an amazing video i just love messing around with new stuff I used to do it off camera, now I do it on camera. It's just super fun. Uh, anyway, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see a part two for me making stuff in the warped forest next time, or the soul sand valley, uh, like this video. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos when it comes out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Bye!